All right. Welcome to another edition of, of what we call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. And uh, before we get this part started, parental discretion is advised. I don't know why we have to do that. Most of these, <laughs> most of these youngsters are probably more uh, informed and know about certain crap than we than we do. But anyway, if you are a parent, parental discretion is advised, and some of us are doing our best not to uh, have our very young children exposed to certain uh, talk or a movie or radio influence that you believe that children should not be listening to. And I, I don't blame you. So I'm just giving us a heads up on this topic. Parental discretion is advised. <clears throat> Contrary to popular belief, I do not advocate homosexual, gay, lesbian uh, behavior. I do not advocate uh, transgenderism and bisexuality and all these different things. I, I'm, I'm not into to those things. I view all of these behaviors as unnatural. Has nothing to do with religion has nothing to do with a God or some kind of morality. I base my observation and conclusion on what I see in the natural world. You do not see bisexual alligators. You do not see transgender moose. You do not see all these weird behaviors in the natural world. You have certain behaviors in the natural world that those who uh, practice these behaviors they try to say see look uh, uh, pigs do it dolphins do it they homose no 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 that's what you want people to believe animals do not uh, practice sex looking for pleasure Procreation. They're not looking looking for it to feel good and like y'all do. Sex for entertainment purposes. You do not see that in the natural world. That's what you do because your mind has become poison and this world of human beings has become unnatural. Even so, I don't advocate that behavior, but at the same time, I can respect you as a human being. And you don't bother me, I don't bother you, and I mean, it's all, it's all grave and good. Now, when you want to try to force your, just like religion, when you want to try to force your behaviors on children, you want to force your behaviors on me, like it's natural and you want to force your behaviors and tell children that this is life and this is how now we got a problem we have a problem you're not going to force these unnatural behaviors on naive children you're not going to be and you should not be allowed to tell people and teach people this is life and no it's not there's this is, this is not life. It's unnatural. I don't know what happened to you in your development. But you and this thinking and this behavior is not natural. And it will not be accepted because it is not a natural behavior. When I was a little boy, 
There was no men around me to teach me nothing. I had to learn my sexuality. I had to learn about the changes in my body. I had to understand these things all on my own. I basically grew up around my mother, auntie, sisters, a lot of women all the time. I knew that I was not a female. And as a boy, a young boy, I did not even care. I just was out here being a little boy. Go outside and, and play uh, with the dogs and the cats and help feed the chickens. We were, I was raised on a, a, a plantation. My people were sharecroppers and feed the chickens and feed the pigs. I, I just enjoyed being a child. Here we are, we're telling little children about their sexual orientation. You a child. Children that don't care. Ain't, ain't no little babies that care nothing about no sex. We're putting this, these ideas and behaviors. Now mind you a lot of the people. They don't talk about it. But a lot of these persons. Were sexually exploited. Many of them would tell you. They were raped as children. Sexually exploited as children. These things and these experiences cause us to go where we end up going. Now as a young boy, as I got older, I began experiencing the different changes in my body, start getting uh, erections and, and whatnot and pubic hairs and the whole nine yards. I had to learn, I had to, what's going on, what's, what's the deal with this? And I noticed when I started looking at females, I would get aroused. You get aroused by their skin, the shape of their nose, their their the body, the curves in the body, and the buttocks takes a certain shape and you begin to get attracted to that. You don't want to really don't understand why. You begin to look at the shape and the form and like, wow, you just it's just mind boggling. And it's something that you cannot control. You could even, as a man, you can get turned on by a cartoon character. As long like there was a cartoon. Uh, something about Jessica Rabbit. I forgot it was a cartoon. And they had a cartoon character female. And they gave her these curves. You know. You know this is a cartoon. But. Something about these shapes. And the way the woman is, is built. Something in nature makes us attracted to these different shapes. And, and, and how and figures. And the softness of the woman. And I don't want to be nasty, but as you get older and you become sexual and whatever, and I don't want to be nasty, but when you look at your penis and when you look at your vagina, they're not the most prettiest things in the world. But when you look at that, but as a man, when you look at that vagina, look, it's not the pretty, it's not the prettiest thing in the world. But for something, there's something in you that causes us, I want that thing. I, I, you know, and that woman, there's something, there's something natural. You don't have to be taught, it's just something natural that moves us in that direction. And so we become sexual and we do the thing. Oh, that feels so good. Mm, yummy, yummy. <sighs> <laughs> you know how we do it. <clears throat> we get all caught up in that stuff. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> so I'm sitting here thinking. 
because I don't understand. Bring me some understanding because I don't I, I, I don't understand the concept. How do we get attracted to somebody's anus, somebody's boo-boo, somebody's boo-boo hole? That's that's where the, the doo-doo comes. And how do you get attracted? What make you think to put <laughs> put a penis in your mouth? <laughs> and you know, piss. And stuff it's just how can you this <laughs> how can you be attracted how I'm just I'm trying to learn okay I'm trying to learn because to me it's disgusting playing around with somebody's booty you're gonna take your penis and and and, and force it inside somebody and that that feel good to you And and and, and the, the, you're gonna see the doo doo. You got to. The doo doo is there. Don't go anywhere. And you and and pee 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 and do you you eating doo doo and drinking pee. I don't understand. No, look, I I don't understand it. I I, I really don't. So as a homosexual person, as a gay or lesbian person, the same experience that I had. Being attracted to this, mm, the same experience that I had attracted to this, you are attracted to the boo boo hole. Where the doo doo come out the boo boo. You're attracted to something that urine. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. Because, see, I'm trying to get some, I just want to get some understanding. So, just so what you're you're basically gonna tell me the same way I was attracted to to all of this, mm, the same way I'm I'm attracted to all of this. You are attracted to 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 to, to feces. Where I mean, all they got to do is just. Wash it up, I guess. Click, move some of the doo-doo out the way, I guess. Or maybe you just don't give a damn. Don't pay. You act like it. You, you don't pay no attention, and you're gonna take a penis, I, 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 like like it's candy. Now, back in the day, when people used to say. Suck my penis. Kiss my ass. Those were not terms of endearment. Those were not terms of love. If you can get a person to suck your penis, kiss your ass, that's degrading. That's humiliating. That's a power move. Because if I can get you to kiss my ass, suck my penis, I get you to lower yourself. I'm going to put my nasty, this is where urine comes out and other stuff. Kiss my ass. Doo-dooing stuff. And you can get people to kiss your ass and suck your, that's degradation to humiliate, humiliate people. That's not love. And now, in 2022, we have people, homosexual and so-called heterosexuals, you're doing these things. Looking for pleasure. When did eating doo-doo become pleasurable? Like it's I and sucking it's ice cream. I do, jot down your comments. Let's talk about it. I, I don't understand it. Maybe you can teach me. <laughs>